Welcome back to TechSpace everybody. In this video we're going to go over the CSGO auto config file or the config file that we use to play or not to play but to set our settings for Counter-Strike before it starts. So as you guys know config file is very important. The commands in it are very important in terms of how well your game is going to run and the performance of it overall. So having the settings correct is almost essential to playing. Now we're just going to go through it um, I'm not going to make this too long. I'm going to try not to at least. Um, so what we're going to do is click start. Go to notepad. Then in notepad, click file. Save it as. Save it on your desktop. And then save it as autoconfig.cfg. Now I already have this one on my desktop already. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. That way we can start fresh. We're just going to save it. As you can see, it came over here, auto config. And in here, we're going to put all of our commands for the game. Now, this is where it sort of gets tricky. So inside of this folder or this file, um, notepad, what you're going to want to do is take the following commands. I'll leave a link to the command list in the description. But what we're going to want to do is again, take the following commands and I'll leave a link to this page in the description. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go in here and just basically copy and paste everything on this. So you see as it starts right here under where it says or where it says clearing everything from there down. I'm just going to want to highlight it all, copy it. Oops, sorry, until right here where it says host right config. Click control C or right click and click copy. And then go back to our notepad and paste everything in here. So as you can see, there's different sections. The sections are uh, cut off by this dash dash and then the name of the section. So the only sections you're going to want to change in this whole uh, sheet are the crosshair and the view model. So if you know don't know how to set up your crosshair or view model, I'll leave a link to those videos in the description as well. Um, but those are the two things you're going to want to change because those are custom. Um, you can go ahead and delete them for right now if you don't have one. Um, and then go watch those videos and learn how to create your view model and your crosshair for CS. And I'll show you how to put it in here as well. So everything else in here you're going to want to leave the same. I'm not going to go through every single setting. Uh, the settings just know they're made to uh, get the best performance out of your game. What you're going to want to do from here is click File, Save, Save your uh, Notepad or your, your Note File. Then we're going to go back to Steam. Work. I don't know what happened to the background there. Okay, so go back to Steam, go to Counter Strike, go to Properties, go to Local Files, Browse Local Files. Wait till this pops up. Go to CS:GO. Go to the CFG folder. And then we're going to go back to our desktop and take that auto config file and throw it inside of this folder. So as you can see here, I have my auto config, save it, close it. And we just take this file right here on the desktop and drag it and drop it into um, our folder. And now it won't pop up with this if you don't already have a, full, uh, a file called auto config, which you shouldn't. I already have mine in here because it's already loaded. So I'm just going to click don't move. But yours should already be in here and it should pop up here at the top. If it's not, click name until you see it go in alphabetical order. And then you should be able to see auto config here at the top. Double click on it just to make sure that everything's saved in there properly. And then you're going to want to click the X, exit out of it. Click, um, just close all of this, go and close out of this, and then go back to CSGO again, right click it, click properties, set launch options, and you guys can ignore everything in here right now. All you're going to want to do is put in here, um, for your config at least, is the dot R plus EXEC space auto config dot CFG, and that's the file that you're going to want, um, to load up every time that CSGO starts. So that's how you create your config. That's how you put it in to CSGO and get it loaded up. Um, the other commands in here, I'll go ahead and quickly explain really quick. All right, so these commands, I'll explain one by one. And I'll leave a link to all this in the description. So I know you guys probably can't read it that well. So what I'll do is I'll blow it up on the screen here 
actually. Alright, so the first command is dash no joy, and that basically means there's no joystick in the game or on the uh, that you're going to be using for that game, and it takes out all of the settings for that, and again makes it run faster because of that. The next one is dash high, which sets the game to high priority. Then we have dash full screen, which tells it to load full screen when we start it. Then we have dash tick rate 128 that keeps all of the servers at 128 tick servers, which are the the highest um, the highest tick rate servers that are available right now. Then we have dash novid, which takes out the introduction video when you start up the game. Then we have no 3dx, which takes out the 3d settings. We have dash lv, which stands for low violence. It takes out all of the uh, you know, extra gore and stuff like that, the way it allows for the graphics to, I mean, the graphics card to not be processing so much, and it allows for the game to run smoother. And then again, if you've never seen this before, it's probably a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's really not as complicated as it seems. Now next we have Plus Mat Q Mode 2. This just makes uh, the graphics run a lot better as well. Um, not just I'm not sure specifically what it does, but I know it makes the graphics uh, the graphics card not have as much stress on it. Um, next, we have no border, which again, if launching in full screen, you're not going to have a border around the window, and so we have that in there. Then we have plus CL force preload one, which loads all of the maps and data for the game before you get into the game. That way, it's already preset and it's already you know waiting for you to launch into a map or or into a certain game mode and that way there's again less stress on the uh, PC while it's uh, loading up different things. Next threads 4 it's the last thing before we have plus auto or our auto config command um, so dash threads space 4 and that basically means that we have four uh, processors in our CPU. So, I mean, not four processors, four cores on our CPU, sorry. So, if you don't know how many cores you have, don't put this in. Um, a good, easy way to check how many cores you have is to go to start, type in config. You'll get system configuration at the top. Click on that. Then you're just going to want to go over to, let's see here, services, or boot, sorry. Go to the boot tab. Go to advanced options right here and then go to number of processors here at the top tick the box and then click this drop down menu and the highest number right here would be the number of cores that you have on your processor so leave that there leave pci lock on untick maximum memory over here make sure all this is the same then click ok apply it'll ask you to reset restart your computer since we finished all the steps in this video just go ahead and restart it now and then you'll be good to go so now what we'll do is make sure also you have these two boxes unchecked so when you right click csgo or counter strike you go to properties and you get this this tab that pops up make sure both these boxes are unchecked make sure your launch options are as i just explained click ok close this out again close this it'll say to restart your computer but you can restart it or you can choose to do it later either way is fine um, and then we're just going to go back and start up Counter-Strike. So once you start up Counter-Strike, the only thing um, you're going to want to do again that wasn't in this video is create your uh, your crosshair and your view model. Everything else was in this video, um, but again, those videos will be linked in the description below. Um, and if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, other than that, when you start up Counter-Strike, it will automatically load that uh, that your auto config file because of the launch option that we put in here at the end. And so you don't have to do anything else. Just start the game and it will load everything in um, that we just went over. So if you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, hit like and subscribe for more great videos.